A lot of people have strong opinions about backwards compatibility. I don't know why that is. I mean, in console generations past, backwards compatibility was either rare or a byproduct of an expensive add-on. Yet still, people feel entitled to it. So in a time when consoles are becoming more and more similar architecturally to gaming PCs, you'd think that backwards compatibility via software emulation would be a slam dunk, right? Mm, yes and no. The seventh generation games are a bit too hardware intensive to emulate across the board, but hey, sixth generation stuff and earlier should be no problem. And this is where people get frustrated either through licensing issues or backwards business decisions by first-party publishers, hundreds of games that could easily be available on XB Market, PS Store, or Nintendo eShop are mysteriously absent. Occasional remasters aside, there are just hundreds of games out there that are impossible to access easily through legal means. For that reason alone, I can understand why people turn to ROM sites and PC emulators. What brought this to my mind recently was actually when I purchased the PS4 port of the PS2 classic, Ape Escape 2. After launching the game and warming up my monkey catching thumb, I noticed something terrible. The characters I had loved as a kid all had obnoxious British accents, and Jimmy is being called Hikaru for some reason? Holy shit, they're selling the UK version on the US store. Even when old games are available for the current gen, they can't be bothered to do it right. So if I want to play Ape Escape 2 properly in 1080p, I have no choice but to fire up PCSX2 and run an illegally ripped ISO. Fun. Moral of the story is, don't get too attached to your favorite games of generations past unless you're willing to hold on to all the necessary hardware too. Nothing like a bunch of cardboard boxes cluttering up your closet, right folks? Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.